you know it's really fun i actually am messaging grace at the moment on my phone and it is seven on sunday so it's, it's all the things happening at once Okay, for today's 7 on Sunday, we're talking about books that TikTok made me buy. And to be honest, I do see a lot of stuff on TikTok. Like, I am part of the book talk stuff. Like, I will post bookish content, but I also post some freaking weird content as well. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, I say don't because... <laughs> a bit strange but my problem is is I'm also part of the booktube recommendations community and the bookstagram recommendations community and the tiktok recommendations community and friendship recommendations community so it could be a book from tiktok or it could be a book that my friend told me about or it could be a book from anywhere but I'm going to talk about books that either I only first saw them on tiktok or I hadn't had interest and then tiktok made me think I wanted to read them so this is kind of gonna work and some of them I've read some of them I haven't read so like tell me which ones I should read and a lot of these I saw Grace really love as well so she may have been my inspiration so I don't know exactly where I am at with what I feel for this topic but I did want to join in because TikTok is an obsession of mine and I really should start watching TikToks but they're so good let's get in the video so the first one that I'm 100% sure that I saw for TikTok because I bought it from a TikTok display at a bookstore and that book is The Spanish Love Deception by Eleanor Armas so I have already read this book first half wasn't great the second half like it killed me I loved it so much so it's like I really enjoyed it but I can't not help thinking about how I felt for the first half of the book so it's a very weird book for me to like rate and kind of talk about but I really enjoyed this this was a lot of fun but it's definitely a romance that I saw everyone talking about because fake dating is a very popular trope on TikTok like everyone is like floored by it and I understand it because it's a great trope so this is definitely one that I see all the time because it's so good and again I have no idea where or who I saw talk about these books I just know that TikTok was a factor so it counts, but I really enjoyed it and I would recommend picking it up. It is a good character, like Aaron Blackford is one of those characters that I'm not going to forget about anytime soon, like he was just mm. And the other book I bought at the same display was A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett S. Clare. So I've heard a lot of mixed things about this book. I think I'm going to enjoy it though because I really do like the Hades and Persephone story, but also the way that people have talked about it is all things that I really enjoy when I read romance books. So I think I'm solidly going to enjoy this and I'm so excited because I'm going to read this for Magical Readathon and that is now this month but I think I've honestly seen so many people talk about this again because of Hades and Persephone like it's a very popular thing on TikTok and there's so many different like types like I'm pretty sure Katie Roberts did the Hades and Persephone story in that like series the villain series that she does and she has a few other ones that she's done as well it's a popular retelling and i definitely always see recommendation videos on tiktok for it but i'm so excited like i think this is gonna be really good mm -mm. yeah i gotta talk about my fave the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood i get so excited every time i see someone read this because i'm like this is a great book it's amazing and it's funny because i didn't want to read this at first it sounded so freaking boring and i don't know how i missed the fact that there was fake dating but I'm not gonna lie the main reason I'm reading this is for the Ray and Kylo fan fiction element like come on like as if I wasn't gonna read fan fiction for them because I am crushed okay so I needed something but I love this book so much like I'm already waiting to reread it it's so cute it's so good I will recommend this for the rest of my days okay read it next i want to talk about from blood and ash by jennifer l armatrout so this could be grace or it could be tiktok because so many people have talked about this book that i did buy them because it's a very popular series even though i've heard a lot of bad things about the fourth book or a new book it's the something of two queens the war of two queens that people have been talking about i have no idea what's going on but now i don't know if i want to know but like i am going to read these books like at least if the first one is a good experience and i at least know all these characters and things that people keep talking to me about and i'm like i have no idea like i know that there's a main character named poppy that's about it then there's boys there's many boys apparently i've seen that so i'm just kind of concerned about things but i do know i want to read this but i keep seeing the hype for it and there's so many mixed feelings of people who freaking hate these series and people who love it and i don't know how i feel next i have these hollow vows by lexi ryan and i definitely see this on tiktok for being a gorgeous cover but also for the fact that it's basically tamlin and reese on the back around there and i'm like yo why are you here but i have been trying to read this book for like months now because i did have this in my magical readathon tbr but it wasn't happening so i actually put house of sky and breath in for a 
Bay book because I was just getting stressed. And there's still two other books that I haven't finished for my other magical readers on TBR. So Opal isn't even an Earthling at the moment, which is a concern because she needs her powers to actually go to school. So I need to like fix her up but it hasn't happened yet but I know I'm going to like this this is one of my five star predictions it's something I see recommended all the time and I just want to read it like I'm ready but I don't have the time now The Hating Game by Sally Thorne is obviously a book I knew about before TikTok like I think this was published before TikTok started but I think the fact that it rekindled my want to read it is a good point to add it onto this video because with the movie coming out people were reacting to the trailer people were talking about it people were just hyped again and so many people were reading this book again that I was like you know what I am reading adult contemporary this was a book that came out when I did not care for the genre and I was ready to read an OG book of the genre so I bought it and I've read this far and again I've had to put it down this is what happens to me is I'm only in the middle of four books because I have to keep putting books down to read other books that are more important but I do really want to finish it and I will eventually get to it this was a buddy read with Miranda and even she finished it before I did and I had already started started it like two months before she did and she only started it like last month and finished it I'm like eh, I'm gonna get to it eventually lies it's lies it's never happening properly and the last one I feel like is so loosely based because I'm not sure if there's a thing I saw on TikTok or a thing I saw on booktube but Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins I feel like made a lot of rounds with this new cover because the old cover when it was Royals was just fugly and I was like hell to the no thank you but this cover is gorgeous and I swear this cover change brought out a whole fresh lot of TikToks or booktube videos of people doing which covers they liked better and I feel like it just started a movement so I'm not sure where I saw it but this is a book I really want to read. I love royalty love stories especially ones that are set in like modern times like it's so much fun and I'm very excited don't know when it's happening but I really want to read it. I hope this is a good selection of like TikTok made me buy it because again I have really bad memory like I can remember plots in books most of the time but when I'm thinking about where I buy things or where I've seen on things, it just, it's gone. It's gone out of the brain there. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I really love doing Seven on Sunday so much and honestly guys, if you aren't doing Seven on Sunday, you should because it helps me a lot because then I don't have to think of video ideas and I know that makes me a bit basic, but I like to know what I have to film that week and I just do it. I'm like, making it happen. It has to go up on this date. It's, it's happening. And I also like that like sometimes when I recommend topics, they happen as well which is like a really fun bonus but i do hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye